Hi, Thomas Brinsko, CEO and publisher of Bit Magazine and BitMagazine.com, bringing you the top news of the week. If my background looks a little different to you this week, I'm coming to you remotely from our offices in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I've been attending the American Fuel and Petrochemical Manufacturers annual meeting in New Orleans. It's been some great content over there. Quite a contrast from Sarah Week, which I attended the week before in Houston. Now, Sarah Week is the largest gathering of energy leaders in the world, typically. It was hosted in Houston last week, and I got to see Secretary of Energy Grantham speak. Uh, she spoke uh, essentially softly asking the producers there to make more oil for our country and the world. Uh, her welcome was tepid at best at that uh, uh, meeting, but um, it's interesting. The top news on our website this week, Chevron uh, getting ready to uh, take over their joint venture in Venezuela if Washington relaxes sanctions on them. Also um, in the news, um, related to Ukraine, uh, we had information about BP, Exxon, Shell, and others in the private center, private sector, who actually beat the governments of the United States and in Europe in withdrawing from Russian operations. Kudos to uh, all of the private industry that stepped up with sanctions uh, really before the, the governments did. In New Orleans this week, um, Chet uh, Thompson and the folks at AFDM did a great job, a lot of information there on the energy transition or uh, lack of a path for an energy transition was a lot of the topic. Uh, of course, a lot on uh, Ukraine and Russia, and we'll have more news uh, on the website for you uh, real soon about that. Um, information not related to Ukraine this week, um, on our website, uh, we have a new a video from ExxonMobil about a proposed facility in Baytown, Texas. It's a blue hydrogen facility that could produce as much as a billion cubic feet a day of blue hydrogen. Now, you may know that hydrogen is classified on a color spectrum, the most common being gray hydrogen, which is made with natural gas. Blue hydrogen is made with the same processes as gray hydrogen, but it includes a carbon sequestration element to it, carbon capture, if you will. Um, Exxon said that uh, when the facility is completed, they would be able to sequester as much as 10 million metric tons of CO2 per year, which would double its current capacity. They would use the hydrogen to fuel their plant and reduce emissions by as much as 30%. So uh, great news there for uh, the economy and for the environment. Uh, our downstream companies are doing a great job in helping our country reduce carbon emissions, even without the pressure from uh, the Paris Accord or anywhere else. In other news, uh, Chevron Phillips Chemical agreed to make several upgrades and perform compliance measures at three of their Texas facilities. That was at Cedar Bayou, the Port Arthur facility, and in Sweeney, Texas. It was part of an agreement to resolve allegations they had violated the Clean Air Act. Um, They're also going to pay a, a civil penalty, and the settlement is going to eliminate uh, thousands of tons of uh, air pollution from the uh, flares that they had there. Lastly, uh, one of the Independence Explorer Pipeline and U.S. Oil announced the completion of a construction project. It was about a 36-mile uh, expansion of a, a petroleum pipeline in the Dallas area, uh, along with uh, the building of a brand newly constructed terminal up there. So congratulations to that team. It's so hard to get permitting right now. One more piece of editorial. The largest applause that Secretary Grantham received at Sarah Week last week was in relationship to a statement she made regarding the need for our administration to eliminate some red tape around permitting. So uh, she got a lot of uh, raucous applause for that, uh, some of it tongue in cheek, but uh, hopefully they will step through with the actions and uh, do what it takes to release the uh, American energy sector to help our country and the world the way it can. Uh, stay tuned and we look forward to seeing you next week. If you're not following us already on LinkedIn and Twitter, please do. God bless you. God bless America.